Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Manu and today we are going to the review the newest drum library that came out recently. It is called Counterkit. For today we are going to react on it. Let's see what we got. So I recently uh, purchased this plugin like 4 days ago, 5 days ago, uh, days after it came out. Okay, without further ado, let's head over to my favorite DAW which is Reaper and let's begin testing this new drum library all right guys so uh, welcome to my uh, humble reaper daw session or whatever you call it so we call it daw and then as you can see i have a bunch of libraries in here that i would need that i need to review all right so we have here the kylie brownie signature uh drum library okay first impression so what I can say about this, the graphics, it really looks nice. It, uh, the snare look, looks really nice. It's a Vinipol signature snare by Pearl. And this shells right here, I believe it's a Tama Star Classic Babinga. Okay. Sounds really nice. And what I like about this plugin is Kylie is using the same brand as what I am using, which are Zildian. So he's using case in here, a customs 19 and 20, I believe. And then a K ride and the China, hand hammered China. So if you want to know about the technical details, head over to the website. I'll link it down below. So let's start. Kyle is using a DW pedals. And then I believe it's can't say what skin is this. But you know, it really looks nice. I want a drum kit like this. Okay, so let's head over or let's try to check this out. It has, the plugin has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tabs. Number, uh, first tab is, of course, the drums and the mixing mixer, the controls, mix bus effects, the bleed, grooves, and MIDI remap. Alright, so the drums itself, so as you can see. We can see the drum set clearly. The nice graphics, nice flooring, black, black, black background, black carpet, Kylie Browning counterparts, uh, branding in here. So nice. And then the mixer, it has a room, re room verb, drum verb. Every channel has it. And then a pan and tuning. You can change tuning as well. And then it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, faders, which is kick, snare, wrap, floor, overheads, hats, ride, stereo, mono, room, and hall, which is pretty normal when you're uh, tracking drums. Well, it's different, but I think uh, the dudes uh, have summarized it. But let's see what we've got. Oh, there it is. Okay, so typically the snare has two microphones, which is the top and the bottom. Uh, they recorded it with the top and the bottom snare. So you've got a fader for snare tap and also the bottom. So you can control the volume uh, of each microphone. Kylie is also using uh, three mics. So I don't know what kind of mic are this, but uh, it's like what we usually do. So we use three mics, so one kick in, one kick out. Oh, there's a kick sample. It doesn't matter. So yeah. So we typically do kick in, kick out, and then kick sub. So yeah, it's cool. Adjust CPU scaling. I guess this is for your CPU utilization, which may be for, uh, for higher or lower quality. Let's check that. And then the verbs. So, oh, it has a pre-delay time, diffusion, stereo. Stereo, I believe this is with volume, high cut, damping, size, super nice, and then also the drum reverb. Oh, so they got room and uh, room reverb and also drum reverb. So nice. Let's go to a uh, fourth tab, which has a uh, mixing bus compression. I believe uh, this is the you know the order of chain. So they have the, so if you imagine if you've got a rack of effects, I think 
this is how they you know chained it so number one is the mix bus super tube saturation parallel compression drum bus transient designer they also got tape saturator and then stereo imaging and drummer's perspective okay let's see what we have there so bleed oh so nice so nice to see a plugin that has bleed it emulates the reality so you can you know well, well bleed is very it's not very important but i think bleed is important in my experience uh, recording it makes the sound not too digital it gives the life we usually hear so i embrace bleed i like bleeds and i like controlling them so it, it's good thing to see that this plugin has a bleed and also a control which is nice each channel has for overhead bikes we have kick snare rack floor hats crash oh it's so nice you can control the bleed of each uh instrument nice steer rooms bleed control kick snare same mono room bleed control yes yeah, same all right okay let's head over uh to the next step which is grooves grooves oh oh okay okay Kylie provided this MIDI. Okay. So how do you use it this? Okay. Let's see. Let's uh, grab this one and then... No, I don't think it works like that. Oh. Let me stop this one. Oh, there you go. Stop. Okay. So it has stop. Previous and next. Uh, see how can we... It says click and drag MIDI file to DAW okay so nice all right so you have to set the tempo first let's see and this uh blast beat it says uh 220 bpm it was recorded 220 all right let's do that and then click and drag wow, so nice to see that this feature has a quick quick uh feature so that you can you know quickly write a song whenever you have an idea in mind oops let's put that contact in there All right Ow. Well, okay let's check other groups as well i don't know let's let's uh grab this one okay oh How do you do that click and drag oh yeah okay let's put the uh, snapping on oh nice okay intro let's see two 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 five all right so you i think you have to double click first stop and then drag all right Oh my god <laughs> so nice i like this okay uh next step is the midi remap it has a snare click oh, okay like ggd they have midi learn so nice so if you have a drum pad you can you know set things up by cl clicking midi learn then tapping the, the instrument in your uh e-drums all right so what else okay let's uh try to play around with the mixer okay So cool that you can change the tuning of the snare. Yeah, I like this. One thing I, I, I notice is, well, I'm used to when I double click it, it turns back to Unity or uh, at the center, but it doesn't. So I think yeah, I suggest that if, it, if they want to update this one, so simple things like that could really help people to see what's going on. And also the numbers, which, uh, like how, how many cents have been adjusted for like from left to right, something like that. 
and also the the visibility of numbers of how much db has been gained up or decreased so it's really important for me as a user all right simple things like that and also the knobs i believe yeah so it's better if you could have a number in here what i like is the sometimes people want mixers or uh, songwriters wants to have a perspective so most of us or me i prefer the drummer's perspective perspective where i position all the instruments of drums where i sit so it's a drummer's perspective however some mixers or some people like to have the audience perspective uh, that is why i really like this feature where you can flip instantly all the instruments from left to right then back to right to left so it's so nice to have this one So as you can see it's now on the right I uh, hat because I am in the audience perspective. So so oh, nice. Yeah. I really like this. I really like the graphics. I'm so impressed. Can't say anything bad about this plugin. It sounds really nice. Snare. And also they have a bunch of mixes ready in here so if you want to try this one just uh, feel free to uh, mess around and then uh, find anything that you can use so yeah I like the kind of mix too super counterparty I like the same boss Zojan I also want to thank my good friend Ron and also D Grave for sending me this shirt. I already wear this one in my drum video, so please do check it out. I think that's it. Kylie counterparts, guys, congratulations. And also the makers of this plugin. So re it's really nice to see and to add this one into my library. So I really like it. And I encourage those producer friends to get this plug-in if you want as it's really nice all right guys so i have to say goodbye now because this video is taking too long now again this is your boy manu and see you on the next video let's go let's go hey, hey, okay let it be known i'm working hard when i ain't on the phone this ain't a hunt this ain't a phone grind never stopping i'm keeping it cold unlocking the door with the holy key you're supposed to be this close to me and hopefully you understand g-o-d maybe this code and i'm talking like